first come as well. Hello yeah. right, everyone, yeah. and it's right. part seven now, and I have been allowed in a depot. So yeah, let's get into the video. There's Britannia. See if our club seem like it. Mend it. Of course. There we are. Get a little Kurt Stewart contractors loco. We've also got the Onstein and Koppel. Little Ophel as well. See, yeah. with our wheelchair carriage behind. For Faraday. And we still use it for works trains and running because they're much harder to sit on. Yeah. You can easily fall off of them. But we donated that we've been working on. Look at that beauty. And the idea is it's for younger members to get used to five inch running where it's quite challenging keeping the fire going. Yeah. Um, so we've got obviously a, there's some more, um, as Jeremy Shunts's carriages, <laughs> as we can use them with a five inch loco as well as oh, some of the water. But we're not far off getting this one. It has to be on the website. We're actually hoping that our next club newsletter will have more about these projects on. And upstairs, upstairs over, we held the seven and a quarter inch gauge society AGM. Boss and down to floor level. And then what you can do, that one you can see on the orange girder there, there's some other locomotives. Well, one locomotive under here. Because this one over here, um, this Roger, there's metal work here. That is only part. So that's privately owned, that's a little titch, I think. There we are, Mary. <laughs> that's a private owned, but that's seven and a quarter. We have little track panels as well, yeah. and we're hoping to improve some of this area, but as you can see, it's part um, Or we've also got colour light signals, obviously electric. Um, but what it is, there was a, it was a colliery in Wales, they spent a multi million pound on um, system. Right. Now you can't mine coal and not grade it. If you don't grade it, then you can't. You built the floor that you see in there, the mezzanine floor you've walked on. Yeah. It's just a little dog kennel just to house two roads of carriages. And then, eventually, with permission of the Bath and West, which um, all this, once you take out these carriages, if there's a new guidance came in 2020, of it is guidance rather than mandated. Rather, okay, so it's best But there have been instances. Yeah, he travelled in on that on the guard seat. He allowed us to sit on the guard seat. Um, but it was prices we ended oh, well. up on, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, one second. Yeah. Pull that around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. we do have a significant SOS funding. We did sort of talk to the private part of that village, yeah. And the local authority said we want that area back. So they built the company. Oh, yeah. I think they've still got the least surprise. Put it into the middle. Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> See, it is heavy, isn't it? Push. You've now realised for your video, this is the shortcut as we call it. Same so taking your engine out on the main line to put it back in the running right. shed. So there yeah. we are. This one is uh, going uh, renovation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so now what we're going to do is push it onto about there. here right and we stop now this right, now we push that going up until the end of the track lines up with the track that we want But yeah, we've extended a lot of this over the years because when we first started off here, we just had. Yeah, it's not there we are. So there we are. You've got this um, sort of spark arrestor, and we all obviously those panels come out so we can get our long effort to steam these locos. That's why we've taken off Chris's ones. He's got enough time because the crash of these stuff. Usually, usually, pull because as you see, it sits below. 
the rail, the surface, is for this sort of siding here. So we used it earlier to put a carriage we didn't need in there. So you've put it back the right way now that we want it. And then that's to put it in the door open a minute. And I will show you. So come on, but not maybe to this scale. No. So these are, our, as you can see, as well, Fiesta as a stance. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? Isn't <laughs> this will control black for points. So like number seven there controls point number seven. Some of them might be, um, well, some of them might be mechanically into oh, okay. it. So some you can't physically pull unless a certain thing is. Right. So yeah, there we are. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? And that then is. the diagram up there would, when it's on, tell us which way the points are set with a little yellow marker. You pull there one, two, one. So that's one of our semi-automatic signals. It's actually as a treadle in the trap. As soon as the train goes past it, when we have it pulled like that, that signal, when the train goes past, will automatically go to red without us touching it. Right. So it yeah. keeps the trains apart from each other. Without... Oh, we're going round empty. <laughs> Sorry, the horns failed on Shepton's. That's why he's got a horn and he's whistling yeah. in there. <laughs> but there we are, red stuff. Like oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. up here, that's the black ones. White near it will actually tell you what colour the signal is. So whether it's green for go, as it were, proceed, puff yeah, quickly. Yeah. So thankfully, well, reminder device, um, a um, sort of like a tension device. Okay. So often, so, um, yeah. that basically, if the driver doesn't keep the pressure. Everyone, that was the last part of this railway adventure. So yeah, bye everyone, and I'll see you in the next adventure. So bye.